I come back to it periodically, uh, but I've been thinking a lot about what it means to be a practitioner. Um, I have had some really cool experiences as a business owner. I've gotten to speak at TEDx, and I've got to I've had the opportunity to, to coach people one on one and do some some really neat things that other people do for a living. Like there are people who their entire job is to be a professional speaker. And that's a fantastic job, but I knew pretty quickly, I don't wanna travel and you can't be a successful public speaker if you're not willing to, to travel places and spend a lot of time away from home. Uh, so that, okay, uh, that's gonna narrow my focus there. Um, coaching is fantastic, I really enjoy coaching too, but I don't wanna be a professional just coach and that, that be everything that I do because what I believe is that any value I have to add does not come from being smart. It does not come from being ruggedly handsome. Any value I have to add comes from being a practitioner. It comes from the fact that after I film this video, I'm gonna sit down at that computer or I'm gonna go out into the shop. I'm going to actively do the work that I talk about doing and I'm going to get some of it right and I'm gonna get some of it wrong and I'm gonna learn some stuff and I'm going to observe like crazy. I'm going to be actively learning every single day about things related directly to my business, about things that interest me, about things that challenge me, and I'm gonna to try to synthesize, <laughs> and I'm going to try to synthesize what I see from filmmakers and what I see from other business owners and what I see from engineers and what I see from different kinds of artists. I'm gonna to try to synthesize what I'm learning from them and figure out how it applies to what I do every single day. And so me as a professional public speaker, I would, I would be terrible after like week two because I would forget what it's like to be in the trenches every single day. That's not that every coach and that every public speaker would have that same failing. No, I'm talking about me. And what I'm saying is that I need to have anything valuable to offer, I need to be a practitioner. I need to be showing up every day, building something, breaking something, all those kind of things, so that I have something of some value to talk about. And I just am really convinced that I would have nothing to say if I weren't doing something, my advice would be terrible to anyone that I talk to. So if anything I've ever said has been helpful to you, it's not because I'm smart and it's not because I've got something figured out that you don't. It's because I'm ramming my head into that wall every single day and I refuse to stop. <laughs>